Hey everyone, welcome back to LV Pokeshop. I'm Christian, and today I'm excited to share with you guys my tips and tricks on how to kickstart your YouTube channel in 2024 and embark on your journey to YouTube stardom. But hey, before we dive in, make sure you smash that like button. And if you like what you see and don't want to miss any more of our content, subscribe with the notification bell on. Now let's dive in. First things first, why do you want a YouTube channel? That's the million dollar question you gotta ask yourself. Are you looking to connect more with your community? Do you wanna share your unique ideas? Do you wanna dive into gaming? Or maybe you wanna turn YouTube into a full-time gig? Whatever the reason is, your journey begins now. You're ready to go. You've signed up, created your channel, let's get creating. Choose your name and your niche wisely. Pick something you're passionate about. For me, it's Pokemon. Getting to relive those childhood memories and keeping my inner child alive is what keeps my channel going. Your niche sort of somewhat sets the stage. Let's talk content. You have long form content, you have shorts, you have live streams, you have podcasts. Who are you and what's your vibe? You gotta choose what type of videos you wanna produce. Maybe a mix of everything. The best channel is the one that screams you. Time to hit record, but what do you need? Well, you probably already have your first item your smartphone, whether iPhone or Android. Today's phones shoot awesome footage, so just whip it out, start recording, start creating content, start capturing that magic. Remember though, horizontal form for long form videos and vertical form for shorts and stuff like that. But you can always edit later if you end up shooting in horizontal form, you can always crop in later. Now for me, I use a Canon M200 over here as my face cam, but my phone's my backup. Over here on this side, I've got my phone. What you guys are seeing right now, this is my phone. Whenever I don't have my camera, if I'm on the go, or if I need two angles like this, just as good footage as any other phone or any other camera. Now, let's talk sound and audio. I would invest in a decent microphone, at least to up your game. You have wired, wireless, USB, shotgun microphones. There's options, there's a lot of options, but I would definitely invest in a decent microphone. You might have a podcast channel or you wanna capture sounds on the go, capture those nature sounds, who knows? but you're, you're definitely gonna need a microphone. Next up, lighting. This is sometimes an overlooked a piece of equipment, but it's definitely a necessity. There's options, again, there's LED ring lights that you can get, or you can even get more creative and get professional style setups. Remember, you're the star, so shine bright like a diamond. Oh, and you're gonna need a computer. At least I recommend getting yourself a computer. Editing on a PC is a breeze when it comes to putting your clips together, and in my opinion, it's a necessity. Also, a computer can hold multiple drives, multiple hard drives, so you, you're gonna fill up your storage, you're gonna need somewhere to store your footage, and what's best than a computer? Now, for editing, I use DaVinci Resolve, but find your groove, find your software that works for you, and, and let your creativity soar. Now, there's another app, there's another software I keep seeing, which is big, and it's the CapCut, desktop it's pretty big for beginners it's pretty good now if you want to get more professional styles videos then i from what i hear just my opinions right um is davinci resolve final cut pro or adobe premiere uh, those are the top of the line ones all right so you've recorded you've edited your videos and now it's showtime consistent consistency is key stick to a schedule YouTube's algorithm loves routines. Whether it's one video a week, one video a month, one video a day, whatever your whatever your groove is, just stay true to your schedule and YouTube will pick up on that and it'll show you and it'll push you out to your viewers and to people who are not subscribed to you. Once you've hit upload, once your video is on YouTube, you can look at analytics. You can dive into the analytics of it. YouTube Studio is great, it shows you everything demographics, there's other tools that you can use. There's vidIQ, there's TubeBuddy. Those are also great tools that you can use for analytics and building those metrics up. There you have it, folks. A quick little video on my tips, my tricks on how to start a YouTube channel in 2024. Now, if you guys wanna see more, maybe we could do a follow-up video with the equipment. You guys let me know. Drop a comment down in the, drop a comment down below. And let me know what you guys thought of this video. If you guys want to see more content like this, or if you guys didn't like it, you guys want me to go back, let me know. I know this wasn't Pokemon related. This isn't what I usually do, but hey, got to try something new. It's a new year. Got to keep things interesting. Again, 
If you guys love what you saw and want to see more content like this, drop a comment down below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe with the notification bell on if you guys don't want to miss any more of my content. If you have any questions, any concerns, any comments, drop them down below. I'll do my best in answering them. Now, what are you waiting for? Your YouTube journey begins today. Why not? Start now. Hit record today.